This video will demonstrate how reusable screens can be developed with the help of iX Developer's powerful alias functionality. Currently, there are three valves in the main screen. We will create a pop-up screen which will allow the operator to control the valves. Instead of creating three duplicate screens, we will connect aliases to the objects and create instances of the same screen. Each valve has three tags. Status tells us if the valve is open or closed. Manual is used to change the control from automatic to manual mode. Name is a string tag. Its initial value is the valve's name. Click on Add Screen and then select General Ribbon tab. Enable the pop-up checkbox. This changes a normal screen into a pop-up screen. Now click on the Modify screen, size, or position. We have resized the screen and moved it to the center. Next, click on the Alias tab along the bottom of the screen. Let's add three aliases by clicking on the Add button. The aliases are renamed to Valve Status, Valve Mode, and Valve Name. A default tag needs to be connected to each alias. For this example, we connect the tags related to Valve 1 to the aliases. Now it's time to design the pop-up. Click on the Layout tab. We start by adding a text object and changing the text to Valve Name. Instead of connecting the object to a tag, we select Alias followed by Valve Name. The pound character indicates that the object is connected to an alias. Next, we'll add a multi-picture object. We will connect it to the alias called Valve Status. Two states are added. One picture represents a closed valve, and the other, an open valve. Let's also add a button and duplicate it with the Create Series function. Now the texts are updated to Mode, Open, Close, and Leave. After selecting all the buttons, we change the fill color to blue. Let's also change font color to white and increase the font size. The first button will be used to switch between auto and manual mode. To do this, we select the toggle tag action and choose the alias named Valve Mode. The next button is supposed to open the valve. We select the set tag action and the alias named Valve Status. The third button should close the valve. We select reset tag action and the alias named Valve Status. These two buttons should only be enabled when in manual mode. We can use Dynamics to enable or disable the buttons. Select the Dynamics ribbon tab and select the General icon. Click on Enable and choose the Valve Mode tag. When the operator clicks the fourth button, it should close the pop-up. To do this, we simply set the action on Click to Close Screen. To finalize alias configuration, we need to create instances of the screen. We add three instances by clicking the Add button. Then we'll rename the instances to Valve 1, Valve 2, and Valve 3. Each instance has its own set of tags connected to that specific alias. The tags connected to the instance called Valve 2 are changed to Valve 2 Status, Valve 2 Manual, and Valve 2 Name. The tags connected to the instance called Valve 3 are changed to Valve 3 Status, Valve 3 Manual, and Valve 3 Name. Clicking on the valves should open the newly created pop-up. Select the first valve and set the action to show screen. We choose Screen 6 from the list followed by the instance called Valve 1. The second valve is configured to show Screen 6 and the instance called Valve 2. Finally, the third valve is configured to show Screen 6 and the instance called Valve 3. We can now simulate the application by clicking on the green Run button. When the operator clicks on the first valve, the pop-up appears on the screen. The alias will be populated with Valve 1's tags. The same screen, but another instance is open when clicking on the second valve. The graphics and actions shown are connected to Valve 2's tags. Clicking on the third valve 
displays the tags that are connected to Valve 3's objects. Working with aliases can save a lot of time and make it a lot easier to maintain your application.